This reminded me, honestly, of the cartoons I grew up with. Um, very Looney Tunes, um, very Flintstones, just like old school comedy, don't need dialogue, just the Foley. Um, I loved all the little sound effects, um, like even the little details. I'll be honest, the little toot that came out when the um, bottom hole opened was quite funny. Um, the chariot being towed was hysterical. Um, I loved the details of inside the horse, like having the little hula girl, the dice, even the ketchup packets, like fast food. So all the details were there. Um, another moment I loved was when they all went, ooh, and the one was like, meh. Um, there were just so many funny moments in this, and they kept coming. It kept, get, it kept getting better. Um, and just when you think it can't even surpass being funny, it's a twist because it's not even genuinely the Trojan horse. He's just trying to deliver fast food. And so that alone just like was the final little um, laugh at the end. So that one was really well done. And I can fully see so much more of, of this animation style. It reminded me of really some old school Looney Tunes style telling of stories. Um it was really just quick and punchy. There were some great visual gags. Um, the animation style also at times felt uh, like a throwback, but it was very modernized to uh, just had that sort of Saturday morning feel to it. Uh, really enjoyable. Uh, a whole series of this could really be great. This was such a treat for me. I really, really enjoyed this piece and this new spin on the story. Um, it had such a great energy to it. Both the visuals and the music reminded me of cartoons I used to watch when I was younger. And I know for sure that my kids would really enjoy this. It was a really funny piece and it made me laugh a lot. I thought the back and forth between both sides was such a wonderful take on the story. Um, it was so clever, like the little things like when he flicked the termite onto the, um, the horse and it just dissolved. I love that. I had a really cool retro feel of the cartoons back in the day. It just had me giggling throughout. Um, the sounds were great. The production was really great. I liked the animation style because it had a nostalgic feel to it. Great colors and sounds. I loved all the blah, blah, blahs. Um, all the fun details, just the seatbelt sign coming on and the oxygen mask coming down. The hula girl, at one point she was smoking and had a, another point she had a look of shock on her face. Just all of, all of it was really great. Really thought out all the little details. Um, just a great pace really kept going and kept me interested. And I just I felt for this guy, man, and his team that was had to rebuild this thing every single time. Just so funny and so well done. Just really cute. I wanted to see more, um, but I thought it had a full story. It just, I loved it so much. I just wanted more. Very clever uh, film. So I, you know, making a comedic movie about the Trojan horse is a very original idea. Um, you know, doing uh, doing it all in, in, in animation yet a step further. I, I you know, I, I, I think it's just wonderful seeing independent animation like this that's uh, so wonderfully produced. Uh, you know, this the an the animation, the characters were so much fun. Um, I loved the uh, the dialogue, the blah blah blah. That was that was a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, basically it was you know it was a, a visual slapstick funny story being told without dialogue. Um, you know, and um, you know with the the. The, the the fun music it kind of reminded me of the Henry Mancini uh, music on the uh, the Pink Panther cartoons a bit you know the whole feel and the, the, the character designs did too they kind of looked like the the funny inspector and, and such from that from those cartoons a bit um, but yeah you know I love this a comedic take on the Trojan horse and all the various ways this one particular guard unwittingly uh, uh, thwarts uh, invasion. Um, but yeah, and it was wonderfully executed. Um, I love the timing. I love the, the, you know, just the edits and everything. It was just very funny. And it was just like very slapstick and fun in the old Warner Brothers uh, vein of things. Talk about a title. That's really, it, I mean, it's silly. It's really fun. And I think, um, you know, on top of that, it, it was like pure slapstick comedy of, uh, you know, classic cartoons. Um, it was really fun to watch you you really uh you really explored all the typical you know cartoon like 
uh, slapstick humor tropes and you really uh, relied on the the foley and you know the background noise to to really up the ante and make it really silly and that's what it was it was silly it was fun it was fun to watch um and it's like it rivals the classics i mean it, it was just really fun to watch really enjoyable really well done um i could watch like a hundred of these uh this is hilarious they showcase so many different situations and very creative ways for this very well-known legend of the Trojan horse to go sideways and then learning what was going on from the beginning and this is just pretty funny it was totally creative I totally enjoyed it all the different situations and the reactions from the characters and it was real funny even though it was short I really enjoyed it and had a great time <music>